good morning dear students i hope you all are all doing well welcome to your computer class the first chapter for the computer class for the academic year 2021 is computer ports connections and their cables children kindly listen to the explanation and see the images carefully as the assignment is based on the same let's proceed with the first part of the chapter that is ports of the computer ports refers to the connection found on the front and the behind portion of the cpu these ports are used to connect external devices such as printer keyboard scanner and mouse all these external devices will be useless if they are not connected to the computer hence the only way to get these devices connected to the computer is by using the computer ports now let us see the names of the ports on the front portion of the cpu they are power light hard drive activity light power button usb port headphone port microphone port and the reset button let us now see the names of the ports on the behind portion of the cpu they are power connector keyboard and mouse connector vga port for monitor fan usb ports intranet port and audio jack let us now understand what is a power button and a reset button a power button is a round or a square button that helps to power an electronic device it is found on all the electronic devices such as your television set your mixer grinder and so on unless you don't use the power button electronic devices will not function now we go to the another important button which is your reset button it is a small button on the case of the cpu it helps to reset the computer for example i am working on an excel sheet and i cannot type nor can i move my cursor because the computer has got freezed or hanged in such a condition the reset button comes into use on pressing the reset button the device or the computer gets restart now let us understand what is a power light and a hard drive activity light the power light indicates that there is a proper supply of the power or electricity to the cpu when in the case the light does not glow bright but glow steadily that means there is a problem in the pus now pus stands for power supply unit let us know about the hard drive activity light the hard drive activity light is a part of the hard drive indicator that flashes each time as the computer hard drive has its data read from or written for example i am working on a powerpoint and every completed slide is saved at this particular moment the hard drive activity light will blink which indicates that the complete slide is getting saved if the hard drive activity light has stopped blinking or it is not blinking that means the system is only constantly reading the data from the hard drive but no other function such as typing the data or saving the data is being performed let us now get familiar with the connections and the cables of the cpu the first one is power connector now what is a power connector the power connector is usually found on the behind portion of the cpu which is in the form of a metal box the power cable or the power cord is the main cable which supplies power from the switch board to the computer device without which none of the computer hardware will function example your keyboard mouse speakers and so on every electronic devices such as your tv your desktop your laptop your refrigerator has a power cable now let us understand the concept of cooling fan 
cooling fan acts like an exhaust fan in the computer case this cooling fan expels the warm air from inside the computer case and draws cool air into the cpu this fan is attached inside the computer case as you see in the computer lab there are acs which helps to cool down the cpu from getting overheated now let's study about the vga now what is a vga vga stands for video graphic array a vga connector is a standard connector used for computer video output it is to display your text graphics and colors on the computer monitor this connection is seen in many of the monitors projectors and high de definition television set let us now study about the intranet port intranet port is also known as a check or a socket this port is used to give access for internet connection by using intranet cable plug this cables are used to connect the computer to different networks such as your lan man web now lan means local area network for instance you have a modem your modem provides wifi yes so wifi you get only into your house can you get a wifi on your main road no so that is a meaning of local area network where you get your internet connection in inside the house or if you go to school there is internet so that is also known as intranet connection then comes man man means metropolitan area network now this network you can give an example of your vodafone network or your airtel network okay next is wan wan means wide area network now this wide area network refers to the whole world fine we get internet connection then only we get a intranet connection now internet connection means wan network and intranet connection means lan network let us learn about keyboard and mouse connector this keyboard and mouse connector are usually connected to the computer with a ps2 port now ps stands for personal system this connectors are usually seen at the back portion of the cpu this port is used to connect a single device like only keyboard one part which is in purple color and mouse only one part which is in green color let us get familiar with the audio jack and headphones an audio port or a jack to which an audio device such as a speaker headphone or a microphones are connected some of the cpus have this additional microphone or audio jack on the front portion of the cpu case the jacks are connected to the sound card in the cpu now let's study about the line input line input is an other another additional port which is found only on the behind portion of the cpu which enables to user to connect another external audio devices such as your amplifier have you seen dj playing his mixer yes this is also getting connected this audio cable tools looks like this where you can see a pink color is for mic and a green color is for your headphones let us now study about usb you all have all about usb usb now what does usb stands for usb full form is universal serial bus it is called as universal serial bus because it is an all rounder device you can carry your data okay children in the usb now it can be used this usb cable can be used to connect keyboard mouse game control game controller printer headphone scanner then digital camera and removable media drive now children if you see over here usb ports are in front portion as well as the behind portion of the cpu now this is the symbol 
and this is the cable of the USB. Now children can you tell me where else have you seen this cable? Yes, we have seen this cable for your mobile charger. The same thing can be attached to your computer as well as your laptop. Now children this is the end of your lesson. I hope you all have understood the names. You all have come to know the names of the ports. When you will come to the computer in the lab next time, you will see the ports visually and we will. I will also ask you all the names of the ports. Thank you.